Hello. In this video, we are going to take our button widgets and we are going to connect them to a function so that when you click on them, they do something. So to do this, we need to create a function um, and then essentially tie that function to the button. So the first thing you can do is I'm going to create a function. Now it's very important that you do this up at the top. Um, it's because of the way the program's read. If you write this at the bottom, um, you'll have some problems. So we're going to say def, and I'm going to call this on click. So the way we define a function in Python is we use the term def for definition, and we give the name of the function, and then we use parentheses to indicate the parameters that it will take. So right now this is going to take nothing, and all this is going to do is it's going to print to the screen, button clicked. Now, if I run this, there is going to be no difference from what happened before. There it is. Because what I've done is I've written the function, but I haven't actually tied the function to the button. To do this, I add another parameter when I construct my button called command. And the command is going to equal, and I'm going to put the name of the function on click. Now, when I run this, what happened? It will come up, and I'll click, and I'll click, and I'll see button clicked. Notice every time I select button 1, what it knows to do is to run this function on click. Button 2, nothing happens. If I wanted, I could do something where I could say command and I could connect on click 2. So I could make an on click 1 for the first button. And then I'm going to create another function called on click 2 for the second function. And this is one way I could distinguish between the two buttons. So button 1, button clicked, button 2, button clicked. And let's actually make sure we distinguish between them by changing that output. So let's run this again. Bring this in the frame. Button 1 clicked, button 2 clicked. Now, this is one possible solution, but often what people want to do is they want to connect, they want to create one function that then distinguishes between which button is actually clicked. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to what I had before, where I had a single function. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a parameter with it called arg. args is just a general parameter, so I can pass something into the function. And then using an if statement, I'm going to check what it is. So if I say if args is equivalent to 1, we're going to say print button 1. And I'm going to say if args is equivalent to 2. I'm going to print button 2 clicked, or button clicked 2. Now you'll notice when I've done this, I now get an error down here. And the reason why I'm getting an error is because this function is now expecting an argument. So to, to do this, we have to use a special command here called lambda. And I'm going to say lambda colon on click, and I'm going to then pass the argument colon on click 2. I'm going to pass the argument. Oh, sorry, my error was because of that. So what this does now is, is I can actually run this and it's going to call the command on click 1 and it's going to then pass a 1 in as the argument. And if I click the second button, it will call on click and pass 2 into there. So let's run this. Button 1 clicked, button 2 clicked. A really common mistake here that people will make is they'll just they'll directly type in on click 1 and 2. And this is this is a bit of a this is a funny thing that I'm not going to get into technically why this doesn't work, but when you when you tie a function to to a button, you can't actually indicate the parentheses unless you use this lambda command. run it. Now we can make our buttons do interesting things. Hope that helped.